Okay, Dr. Ismail, you have examined the child. Now, kindly describe your case. Thank you, sir. I examined this six months old infant uh, who is conscious and alert, uh, having respiratory distress, receiving oxygen via nasal cannula. Uh, I will line is on the dorsum of her uh, left right hand. Uh, on motor examination, uh, uh, the power is 2 by 5 in the lower limb and 3 by 5 in the upper limb. Deep tendon reflexes are absent. Uh, and uh, there, there is hypotonia as well. Uh, on 160 degree maneuver, the child is uh, strong. Uh, the, the child is weak, floppy. Uh, and further extension of my examination, the child is also having tongue fasciculations. Uh, OFC is around 37 uh, centimeter, which is obviously low for uh, her age, but I would like to plot it on the centile charts. Uh, the rest of the system examination is unremarkable. Uh, anything else you have done and you have missed in your description? Um, development assessment, have you uh, done it? Yes, uh, uh, on developmental assessment, the child is uh, uh, following uh, uh, objects and responding to verbal stimuli. Okay, good. So, what is your impression considering this uh, all description and findings? Uh, based upon these findings, I will keep uh, SMA spinal muscular atrophy on top. And considering the age of the patient, I will keep SMA type 1. Okay. First, uh, in exam, you have to uh, uh, describe the things in a broad manner. You can say that uh, this, uh, considering all these findings, I will consider the possibility of weak floppy child. Okay. Then examiner asks another question, okay, what could be the possibility in the weak floppy child? Okay. So that will be easy for you and uh, uh, your five minute time of examiner's question will be easy to handle. Okay, so you just say a most likely patient is case of uh, a weak floppy, a weak floppy infant. Okay. So next question will be the what is the difference between the strong and a weak floppy baby? Uh, upon 180 degree maneuver, how you differentiate is, strong floppy baby from the weak floppy? Uh, during the 180 degree maneuver, on horizontal flop, floppiness is floppiness. Whether the baby is strong floppy or weak floppy, finding will be same. Yes. So this is not a differentiating point. Okay. What else are the differentiating points that differentiate from the weak floppy from the strong floppy? Reflexes. Reflexes. What yes. will the reflexes in strong floppy and in weak floppy? In the weak, uh, in the strong floppy, the reflexes will be present. Present. Uh, either yeah. there can either there can be hyperreflexia. Yes. While in weak floppy, reflexes will be absent. Yes. What will be the uh, OFC in strong versus weak floppy? In the strong floppy, OFC will be. Low, low. For the age because one of the uh, uh, major cause of uh, strong floppy is either uh, birth asphyxia yes. or congenital brain malformations. So in that case, the birth, uh, OFC will be low. While in uh, the weak floppy, as the pathology is in the peripheral nervous system, so our OFC will be normal. Yes. And what will be the development in strong versus weak floppy? Uh, the child will be developmentally delayed in in the strong uh, uh, floppy, uh, and in the weak floppy, the development is normal. Uh, the development is normal in, yes. in which domains? Uh, in, uh, Motor will be delayed. Yes, in cognition. In cognition. Yes. In uh, uh, visual uh, visual uh, domains, in uh, hearing, yes. the child will be normal. He will be socially, uh, yes. he will have social smile. Yes. He will have uh, uh, they are stranger anxiety. They are so anxiety. other domains will be normal, but motor will be delayed. Yes. So this is an, again different. Can you enumerate the few causes of central uh, uh, floppy, or central hypotonia versus uh, peripheral hypotonia or weak floppiness? Uh, for the central hypotonia, I will keep uh, mm, HIE, hypoxic ischemia, okay. Okay. Uh, second, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, good. Uh, third, I will keep uh, Syn uh, any syndromes? Syndrome, like? You know, like Down syndrome. Like? Zellweger syndrome. Like? Uh, Predator will like. Predator will Initially, like, yes. will be present with yes. hypotonia. So, syndromes, brain malformations, yes. uh, and, and neurometabolic disorder, and yes. uh, again, uh, asphyxia. While in peripheral, what could be the causes of peripheral hypotonia? So you have peripheral. in peripheral better is to define from the interior motor neurons, the nerves, the neuromuscular ejection, and the muscles. So enumerate the causes in this manner: from okay. interior motor, interior horn cells to the muscles. Okay. Uh, at the level of interior horn cell, I will keep uh, spinal muscular atrophy and and uh, botulism. Uh, botulism is a neuromuscular disorder. Yes, disorder. Uh, another possibility is riboflavin transport deficiency. Yes, riboflavin. And another possibility is um, okay. motor neuron disease. Uh, 
Totally that can be possibility, but uh, this child is very uh, young for that. Okay. Okay, and ner- at the level of nurse, uh, any neuropathy like congenital neuropathies, yes. congenital neuropathies, yeah, neuropathies. GBS is less likely again in this age group. Yes. yes, that is a possibility, but most likely congenital neuropathies are top possibilities here. Yes. And at the level of neuromuscular junction um, myopathies, neuromuscular junction. Yes. Uh, botulism. Botulism. You can divide it as a pre-synaptic and post-synaptic. Yes. So in pre-synaptic. Again, uh, uh, pre-synaptic, uh, you will be have the uh, uh, lumbar uterine myasthenia. That is a possibility. Lumbar While in post-synaptic, uh, again, congenital myasthenia or myasthenia syndromes. The other possibilities are botulinism, definitely, is yes. this age group. So, that can be possibility. Then at muscle level, what could be the possibilities? Uh, muscular dystrophy. Congenital muscular dystrophies. Yes. And uh, congenital myopathies. Yes. And, uh, and myotonic muscular dystrophy. Myotonic. So these are the possibilities at muscle level. So you have to def- define and enumerate the causes in this manner. So you have, uh, so our case is of weak floppy baby and you have uh, said that it is most likely SMA. So you have said that it is type 1 SMA. So can you differentiate uh, the types of SMA from type 0 to type 4? How they uh, present, at what age they present? Type 0 usually they die internally. Mm-hmm. Uh, type 1 they present in the first 3 months of life. So they never? They are never sitters. They are never sitters. Okay. Type 2 are sitters but they never walk. Good. And type 3 they are walkers. But they have some evidence of proximal muscle weakness. Yes. Okay. And type 4 they... They usually, they are adult and normally they have normal uh, lifespan. So considering your first differential SMA, how will you uh, 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 go for the investigation of this child? In a for SMA, I will do SMN, SMN gene analysis to look for SMN gene deletion and number of copies of SMN gene. SMN1 gene deletion and number of copies of SMN2. SMN2. So what is the significance of SMN2 copies number? Uh, it will and if the report comes that patient has SMN1 gene uh, heterozygous deletion. So what is your impression? Uh, As this case is autosomal recessive disorder, so you should have SMN1 gene homozygous deletion. And the SMN2 copy number basically shows uh, the uh, severity of disease. Greater will be the copies of SMN2. The function of SMN1 gene will uh, overcome by these, those SMN2 uh, copy numbers. The protein that produced by SMN2 will overcome the deficiency of SMN1. So mm-hmm. greater the number of SMN2 copies, lesser will be the severity of disease. So if the copies are higher number, the patient can be SMN2, SMN3 and SMN4. So this is significance. So uh, is there any role of uh, NCCMG or uh, 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 muscle biopsy in these cases? There's no. There's no, do you, do you, you have a, some easy test. So you, you should go for just blood sample and you see the gene mutation. Yes. So how will you uh, manage this index case? Uh-huh. What are the issues in your index baby? As the child is having pneumonia, so the first thing is I should treat his pneumonia okay. uh, with IV antibiotics, with chest physiotherapy, with oxygen inhalation, nebulizations, uh, and NG feeds. Uh, and second is how to prevent the pneumonia, so pre- pre- uh, regular nebulization, chest physiotherapy is mm. in order to prevent the okay. pneumonia in the future. Take care. Uh, Regarding the definite treatment, is there any definite treatment in this case? Gene therapy? Yes, gene therapy is there. With the name of? You should know the name at least. It comes in the brand name of Zolgesma. Zolgesma. And the drug under this brand is Onsamnogene. It is basically given IV and single dose therapy. So Before that, one month therapy with uh, prednisolone is given. Good, good, good. So uh, these are all about the SMA. Thank you. Thank you. Good.